Let's say you want to take your blog and turn it into a multi-user blog or you want to just enable your friends to write articles on your website or just, you know, multi-people being able to be authors on your WordPress site. Well, here's how you add another author to your WordPress blog or an administrator as well. You could do it this way. But go ahead and go to Users on the left and go ahead and click Add New. So once you've clicked Add New, you'll need to select a username. So we'll just add my good friend Jimbo Jones. And Jimbo Jones is going to have an email of Jimbo Jones123 at whatever.com. And of course, his first name is Jimbo, and his last name is Jones. You're going to want to put your friend in here. But uh, they have a separate website from this one. You can put in www.whatever.com. Now, by default, WordPress is going to give this new user a password. So you can show the password for the user. And I'm showing it for this video. But rest assured, Jimbo Jones is going to go away from this website right after this video. So it's not secure or not insecure. I'd like to keep the site secure. Uh, so you always want to make sure to keep passwords safe. Um, but you can send a user a, a new email if you want, and then they can log in and change the password when they log in. The options here, though, you can have other options as well, but by default, WordPress gives you a certain number of, uh, or certain types of account profiles. So you have subscriber, that's just somebody who comes to your web page and does whatever. You have contributor, that's somebody who can write their own articles or contribute comments. Um, then you have an author. An author is somebody who can log in as themselves, do some basic things within your website, and uh, both write and edit their own articles so they can be an author that way. You also have this administrator and editor privileges. Editor lets somebody log in and edit all of the content of the website without being able to add things like plugins or uh, make changes like that. And then administrator obviously is the top level that gives full administrative privileges over the website. But what you'd want to do if you want to add an author to your website is just click on the author profile. So we'll go ahead and do that and go ahead and add a new author user. And now if I scroll down, I can see that Jimbo Jones is officially a user on this website. Now I'm going to go ahead and delete this profile because Jimbo Jones isn't a real person and you've seen his password. So I don't want you to be able to log in using Jimbo Jones. So we're going to go ahead and delete him. But in any case, um, if you want to create a new author on your WordPress site, that is how you do it. If you liked this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up below. Be sure to subscribe as we have more helpful videos almost every single day. If you have any questions that we can answer for you, please be sure to come and visit us at showmehowtodothis.com.